The lesson this week is about dissemination. Objectives for this lesson are to review what data tells us from QI and to identify who to disseminate to and how to disseminate and why. What do you do? What do you, does your data tell you? Are there patterns that emerge? Patterns for subgroups of your population or patterns for different components of your program? What questions do the data raise? What is surprising and what stands out? What are other ways the data should be analyzed and what additional information do you need to collect? And who is the information for? And how will you tell them what you want them to know? You need to think about this when communicating your findings. Information that is not effectively shared with others will not effectively be used. This is so true. So when you're thinking about dissemination, who needs the findings and what do they need? And who are the audiences for your results? And what results need to go to which groups? Staff, board, funders, partners, other agencies, the public? Think about who needs what. And there's different ways to communicate and disseminate. Decide what format is appropriate for different audiences. Should it be a written report, a short summary, a film or videotape, pictures or displays, PowerPoint presentations, graphs or other visuals? And think about your communication strategies. Link the findings to the program's desired outcome and include both good and bad and the ugly. Be sure you can support your claims and acknowledge any types of gaps that you have. And always remember, information that is not effectively shared with others will not be effectively used. So when you're thinking about dissemination, think about how you do it, who you're doing it for, and what would be helpful to them. So the assignment this week is to think about the following elements. Use your worksheet to design a poster, a PowerPoint presentation, and an executive summary. Remember, QI is an iterative process and your worksheet may change as you learn new or additional information or find new evidence. Good luck with this assignment. Thank you.